Well, first thing, uh, you know, just got to, you know, say thanks to all the Niner Nation. That was a great crowd. It's every spring. It's just a lot of fun to come out here. Spring games, a lot of fun for our guys. You know, they've been grinding hard over five weeks and, and to come out and have students there and that student tailgate down there just was a good buzz with baseball, softball, all the way around on campus today. And just a lot of fun for our guys to go out and, you know, especially a guy like Kevin hadn't been here, Alex, you know, just first time getting a, to be in our stadium, see our crowd and, and a good energy level. So that was a lot of fun. But uh, we had a good productive spring. I thought the guys capped it off tonight, uh, did some good things on both sides of the ball. And uh, just really excited about the spring we had. We got a chance to develop a lot of depth with guys that have been out. Uh, we got some starters out of the game. So O-line wise, we were able to, to, to develop some guys. Uh, feel like we found our quarterback. Uh, defensive uh, wise, we got, I'm really proud of JBT. I thought this was a real critical spring for him. I thought he really stepped up and was forced to be a leader on our defense, and he's done that. Uh, really productive today, you know, throughout spring, and and so guys like that, we need to you know to step up and play next fall with you know Nick and Carrington out. Gave him a huge opportunity to do that, and just really proud of guys like that uh, and developing that depth. Um, you know, same thing at nose guard. Tyler Fain's a guy that sticks out. Just he's a guy we need to, you know, as a backup behind Larry, we need another guy and develop that depth. And that's kind of the next step for our program and having guys that can come in if somebody gets hurt. And I just feel really good about the way we did that this spring. And and then uh, you know tonight was a lot of fun for our guys and and uh, they let me call the defense for the white, so that was a little fun for me. So anyway. Yeah, you know, the very first pass was probably a little miscommunication. You know, it wasn't, you know, it was, you know, just a little bit of bad on both sides there. And, uh, you know, I think after that, we kind of settled down as an offense, and I think we got into a little bit of a rhythm. And, you know, I think we, you know, I think we overall, you know, played pretty well, you know, minus, you know, probably two, three plays, you know, a couple penalties, my two picks, and, uh, you know, dr you know stall, uh, drive stallers, and, uh, you know, those are the things you can't have. Yeah, I thought yeah, – yeah, no question. Um, he was facing a tough defensive coordinator tonight, so I knew it would be uphill for him. Uh, but, uh, no, Kevin's had a good spring, and tonight was, you know, Alex made a really good play on the first play of the game, and, and uh, Alex is a guy that's had a good spring for us, so we expect him to make big plays. But uh, uh, Kevin did a good job tonight. Uh, we had some big plays out there, and, you know, we fumbled the one going in. Alex, you know, fumbled going in, and we go score another seven there. But uh, I just, just really proud of the way all of our guys have come together and and really, you know, molded in that locker room. And I just feel really good about where we are right now. And Kevin included, he's a new guy coming in. Uh, Alex transferred in. We got some guys that have come in and really done a nice job of fitting in with our football team, with our old guys that have been around here since day one. And and. Uh, so, you know, we'll go in and watch the film and, you know, learn from it. But uh, we wanted Kevin to, you know, know this was, this was where, we're, where we're going coming into the night. And he got his first start. And, you know, so he'll have all summer to, to continue to learn our offense and get ready for, for our opener going through August. Yeah, actually, when it's, when it's the first play of the game and you're playing defensive back, uh, you, you want to look out for the, the deep ball. First play, you always want to look out for the deep ball. And as soon as I saw Austin Duke, Past eight yards, I figured he's either running a post or a seam. So I just started running, and uh, it just happened to be there. And uh, Kevin's been competing all spring, so I expected him to throw the ball pretty far. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, it's obviously great. You know, and now my family lives here, and, you know, so it's kind of, you know, a hometown thing. And my family was able to, you know, just drive down the road and, you know, watch me play. And obviously, you know, being out here in, you know, the Charlotte jersey is, you know, means a lot, especially sitting next to guys like this that were here when there was no team. You know, those are, those are the guys you really want to go out there and compete and win for. You know, the guys that were here when, you know, there was just practice, you know, and there was no games, there was no this, you know, there was no Conference USA on our jerseys. So, uh, you know, it was, it was real, you know, I'm, I'm real happy to be here and thankful for the opportunities. Um, you know, obviously, you know, it's a, it's a great place to be. You know, the school is growing, obviously, you know, the, you know, we have, there's good football, there's good coaches, you know, there's everything around it. It's a family, you know, family feel. And, you know, I really haven't enjoyed being around a group of guys and around a group of people more than I have, you know, this last, you know, semester that I've been here. Um, I, I can remember we ran uh, 10 sprints on the first day of conditioning <laughs> in 2012, and I uh, threw up at six. And, um, you know, to be able to be sitting here and, and healthy, and, you know, it, it's an extreme blessing. It, we're not we don't have a lot of uh, necessarily organized time off and so 
it's kind of just all run together. And I feel like I've blinked. And now we're playing in our last spring game. And um, it's just a testament to how hard that uh, – how many how many guys do we have on this that were here when it started that are still playing? I think, yeah, 21. 21. So there's 21 guys who've put in that work and, and gone through uh, – uh, we've been at the bottom. And, and we no one is like to, to see victory and the guys who've just stayed humble through that, you know. And um, – I just I love playing with these guys, and what's awesome is you got guys like uh, Duncan and Kev here that come in and they gel with that so fast, and they did a great job with that. Like it's it's fun to be in the locker room with these guys. It's fun to play with them. It's like they've been here longer than just a semester. Yes, it it really is fun. You know, um, <laughs> coming in 2013, you know, coming in as a true freshman and coming in with all older guys that's already been here that first year, establishing the program when nothing was here. You know, it really made an impact on our team. You know. And with people coming in, like Kevin and Alex, you know, they made a huge impact on our team, too. I think our team is growing. Our chemistry is strong. That's what keeps us together as a team, our team chemistry, you know. Because leadership is influence, so we all influence each other. And, you know, we just take it step by day and attack the day. You know, I, uh, it, it was very, very different for me. Um, it was really exciting to get to finally play the position. and. and Three weeks ago, like if you ask me, like I'm gonna sit here and say I'm excited, you know, this is a great thing. But to be completely honest, I went home last year after the season and stared myself in the mirror every night thinking, you know, do you really love the game? Because you're about to be taken away from something that um, you've loved so much, which is quarterback. And I had to leave my feelings and stuff at the door. And the coaches don't even know this. I had to leave my feelings and stuff at the door when I came in and just learned to love running back when I didn't know how to play it. And I've never blocked someone before. And if I have tried, it's been on a reverse and I didn't get anybody. <laughs> and uh, so I had to um, kind of go home and, and die to self. And, and God kind of showed me what kind of person I, I needed to be through this whole process. And to have a co coach like Coach Gary help me to get me to this point today. And, and three weeks ago, if, if you'd have had me in here like wondering how I was going to do in the spring game, I, I would have no confidence in myself. And the guys in that room, um, they've been doing it you know, through high school and stuff, and especially Khalif, the, the most encouraging group of guys on the planet to help me make that transition because uh, I never thought I would be able to do it, and at times I didn't want to. And um, the coaches helped me with that. Uh, Coach Mullen helped me with the transition. And it, it helped me come out and have fun and feel like I know what I'm doing. And, and i got one year left. And I do not want to be the guy that sits here and says, you know, uh, if only, if only. Like, I, I got an opportunity to play college football. I'm not hurt. And uh, uh, God's laid that platform out in front of me, and I, I get to go take that. So it's been awesome. You're doing a good job, man. Thanks. I, 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 <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, that. you had the same yards as Khalid. I mean, <laughs> yeah. huh? Three more carries. Three more carries. It's hilarious because I am now back down to the weight that I finished last season with. You know, I've, uh, I've not been disciplined with weight in. Um, I got to a point. In the, I got the point in the off season where uh, coaches kind of pulled me aside. They were like, uh, "You need to make sure you're doing this, so and so. Make sure you got your study hall mat lose ten." And so <laughs> I was at I was at two fifty four, and I'm down to two forty tonight. And so um, I, I feel like I'm at a good play in weight, and and I feel like I can be a bruiser. So um, you know, I, I love pizza. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, that's just where that's where I'm at. And so I've had to I've had to learn I've had to learn some discipline there too. And the strength coach has really helped me with you know telling me how to take my day and snack and stuff like that. But you know, I put on weight. Yeah, you know, it's obviously you feel confident when you got those two guys standing next to you. You know, they're old guys. They know the system. You know, you know that you know they're not going to shy away when a guy comes free and they got to step up and you know put one in his chest. You know, they're you know that's you know that's real confidence booster when you're back there standing there with your back turned and you know you got guys like that playing next to you. So uh, you know, like I said, it's you know, it's, it builds my confidence even more, you know, looking to the right and seeing, you know, those two guys. Yeah, Hassan's a good player. I mean, he's competed extremely hard. He's a hardworking guy. Um, I'm really, really glad he's here. Um, he gives you another dimension. Uh, he, he's a fast guy, can get himself out of trouble uh, with his feet. Uh, and he's got to just continue to grow as a quarterback. And I think that's the, the push. And I know he'll do, I know he'll do that. He studies extremely hard. He's a hardworking guy. and. And, uh, you know, we just we feel really good about our quarterback position right now. And you got a guy like Brooks who's played in the games and, you know, couldn't finish the spring because of an injury. So, um, you know, I feel really good about that position right now as we, as we move into the summer. Well, I think the biggest thing is age. Uh, you know, our guys, and they've been through the league now. And, you know, we won two last year, and I felt like there were four that we left out there. And so... You know, now the guys know, and when it goes to overtime with San Antonio, when you're at ODU, we got to finish the game. 
Uh, me included, you know, I, I look at myself in all those games as well and calling them down the stretch and, you know, all, all that you're always, you know, and that's the big concern for me personally because this class, you know, we want to give them every opportunity to go out on top because they were, they took a risk on us when we, the first class, this class will always be, you know, real special to us because they took that risk. There was nothing here, you know, there were no buildings, no football stadiums. And, you know, JBT came, we hadn't even played a game, you know, and so we just feel, we just started. And so we want to make sure that we put them in a position. And I just feel good about the way last year went. We've got a lot of age. Um, we got brought in some new guys that I think have fit in good with our team. And, and uh, so we've got a lot of confidence going into the summer. We need to have a great off season. We need to have a great summer and the guys know it. And there's nothing easy about the summer. You got to go out and grind. and. It's a it's a it's a tough process to go through to put yourself in a position to be successful in September. So, uh, you know that's the next phase for us.